Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So, I am in a new office space again. Definitely wasn't planning on moving to a new office space so soon, but things just kind of happened and I'll explain all of that at the end of the video. And I just got in a ton of stuff to treat the walls for sound because the ceiling in this place is massive and more on that later. But again, today we're talking about the Leica Mini Lux. It's a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera that I picked up not too long ago. And recently I took it out for a walk around town Nathan joined me, filmed some behind the scenes stuff as I was shooting and just kind of talking about the camera. So let's jump to that and then we'll come back here afterwards, talk a little bit about the camera and this office situation. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about the camera, some of the features, and I guess just my first impressions on it since I haven't even seen any of the rolls I've put through it yet. For starters, it is a point and shoot camera, but you do have a little bit more control than some other point and shoot cameras might give you. On the right side of the camera, you have these two dials that are basically on top of each other. The top dial is your focus dial, so you can have it set to AF and it'll do all the auto focusing for you, or you can actually rotate that dial and go from infinity all the way to 0.7. So if you wanna set your distance and basically uh, zone focus or hyperfocal distance, you can do that. This can be super helpful if you're shooting a photo like through some glass, like maybe if you're driving or maybe riding in the car and you don't want the lens to autofocus on the glass in front of you. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, the dial below that is your on off switch as well as your aperture setting. So if you turn the camera on, it'll go to P, basically program or auto mode, and that's gonna choose the aperture for you based on whatever the light is in your scene but if you want to treat this like an aperture priority camera you can and actually just dial it in from f 2.4 all the way to f 16 which again this is a 40 millimeter f 2.4 lens which is pretty fast and not your typical focal length for a point-and-shoot camera on top of the camera you have this little window here basically giving you all the information from your frame counter what shutter speed it's going to shoot at if you're choosing the aperture or uh, even on program mode it will tell you what aperture and what shutter speed the camera is going to choose and it's also going to let you know your battery as well as what kind of flash mode you're on. On the left hand side you have this little mode button and if you cycle through that you go through all the different flash modes that it has. Anytime you turn the camera on no matter what it was set to when you turned it off last it is going to automatically default to flash on so just keep that in mind if the camera thinks it needs a flash it, unless you've disabled it yourself the flash will go off and there's uh, little LEDs in the viewfinder that'll give you a heads up if it is going to flash. Other than that the other two buttons you have exposure compensation which will Will, uh, let you dial in all the way to plus two or minus two on the exposure comp and then you also have a self timer button. So after getting that roll back that I shot walking around town with Nathan, as well as all of the other rolls I put through this, I am pretty happy so far. The most important things, I guess, are the accuracy of the focus and the metering, and so far everything has come out great. I haven't had any situations where I've missed focus when the camera said it was in focus, I haven't had any issues with over or under exposure, and even the flash in like heavy backlit situations, it doesn't kill all of the ambient light. It gives it just enough to fill and then everything is nice and balanced. Really, really happy with that. 
I've put two kinds of film through this camera so far, HP5 for the black and white, and then Kodak Ultramax 400 for the color. Ultramax continues to be one of the most underrated color film stocks out there. And for a camera like this, Ultramax is kind of perfect because I don't want to throw Portra 400 in this every single time. The way I use point and shoot cameras, a lot of times it's just quick little snapshots or uh, it's sort of like a journal camera. I've kind of talked about that before with cameras like the X100V or the Olympus XA. These compact point and shoot cameras it's great to just grab a quick photo, especially if I'm like in the middle of doing something else or if I'm out with the family or driving. If I see something, I just want to take a quick photo with it almost to kind of jot that idea down. If I see something that kind of catches my eye, this is great for that. And I could do that with my iPhone, obviously, but I like using a dedicated film camera for that because one, the quality, and two, it's just more fun. I feel like most cases using this camera, I treat it like an aperture priority camera. So I'm actually selecting my aperture on the side here rather than just leaving it on P for program and have everything automated. I like being able to choose the aperture. That way I can control how fast the shutter speed or slow the shutter speed is gonna be, as well as also controlling the depth of field. Uh, for me, that's like one of the most important, I guess, creative decisions in a photo is choosing how much depth of field there is because I try to use that really intentionally. So being able to to select that on the camera is really nice. It would be nice to have a dedicated switch for the flash to just leave it off and I don't have to cycle through all of the flash modes every single time I turn the camera on when I don't want the flash on. So I think it's six times you hit it. So when you turn the camera on, one, two, three, four, five, six, there you go, now it's set to off. So you have to cycle through all of those before you get to off. Not a big deal, but again, a, a physical switch would be nice. The viewfinder itself is really small. Uh, that's probably one of the biggest drawbacks with this camera. If you wear glasses, it might be tough to use. I don't wear glasses, so I don't really have to worry about that, but something to keep in mind if you haven't shot with this camera, I had no idea how small the viewfinder was, and after just passing it around to a few friends, a lot of people were like, oh yeah, that's way too small. I could never use that. Uh, so just be cautious of that. And aside from the small viewfinder and having to cycle through all the flash modes, I really can't see any other reason to not like this camera. Again, the reliability of the focus and the metering, those are like my two biggest things when it comes to a point and shoot camera. And so far, after putting maybe four or five rolls through it, so far it's held up great. I definitely like to use this camera in some more videos. I thought it would be fun to go out and shoot like an entire portrait session using just this camera. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, before I tell you guys all about this whole office situation, I'm gonna go ahead, pay some bills, and thank our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the best all-in-one platform to build a beautiful looking website. With all of the different customizable templates to choose from, it's never been easier to make a website that actually fits your style. Build a gallery to show off your best work, you can have a blog that you update regularly, or have an online store to sell any products, whether it be physical or digital. Literally anything you would need to do from a website, you can do that with Squarespace. With their drag and drop system, it's really easy to organize things, whether it be photos or text, and if you ever have any issues or need help, they have 24-7 award-winning customer service. So if you want to try Squarespace out, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com, but if you're ready to get signed up, I can save you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by going to squarespace.com slash mattday. So once again, I'm in a new office space. I had just moved in a few months ago to the last spot, which was literally just right across the street from where I am right now. My good friend Bryce runs a marketing agency called Knowledge House, and I help out on shoots with him all of the time. And he had a room that was just kind of sitting there open and wasn't being used for anything, and he offered it to me. So it was just sort of a perfect fit. I moved in, I just immediately love the space. I'm around a ton of other creative people every day, and it's just a really good and environment. The thing is, Bryce's company is growing, which is great, but they started taking on more clients, had a lot more video and photo to shoot with all of the other team. So basically, they were treating this one place as an entire studio, and nobody had any room to really get any work done, except for me, basically. So he was looking for a new space, and this place right across the street opened up. It's a really old building that is just absolutely massive. There are two floors, a lot of different office spaces in here, and there is not only room for 
everybody in here to work, but there's room to grow. So I had the option to either stay at the previous spot and find somebody else to split the space with or pack everything back up and join the rest of them over here. And that's exactly what I did because it's just an awesome group of people to be around every day. And this old building is really, really rad. And I wanna be able to see it kind of turn into something new here in Chillicothe. So definitely excited about it. It's a totally different feel than the last office, but I've already started, you know, kind of getting everything set up as you can kind of see with my shelf behind me, but the sound panels, uh, this is something I'm definitely gonna be doing probably uh, later today, if not tomorrow, and really figure out the best way to get the best sound I possibly can in here because there is a lot of echo. Once everything gets kind of completed and finished, not just in my office, but the rest of the space, I'll do a little like walk around tour video just to kind of show you guys the space because it's really cool. There's gonna be a full size studio just next door uh, in the space next to mine. So that's gonna be great for not only the stuff that they shoot, but if I ever need to shoot anything in there, I have access to a full studio, which is great. I really wanna get back into shooting more portraits just in my own time. It seems like now the only time I shoot portraits is for a job. So I'd really like to get back into shooting that more regularly, which of course means more videos on shooting portraits and just showing behind the scenes of a portrait session. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, and one more thing, um, when this video goes up, it'll be my birthday. So I am turning 30 on the 30th, so I'm honestly pretty excited about that. My 20s have been a lot of fun, and it's probably been the most, like, impactful, I guess, decade of my life. I decided to pursue photography full-time right at the start of the decade, and then met my wife, we got married, had kids, started this YouTube channel, which is now my job. I've met so many amazing people that are now like family to me, which is great. There's also plenty of other just not good stuff that has happened, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are well aware of that. In 2020, let's just, we can get past that now. Let's, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm done with this one. So here's to 30 and uh, the next chapter. And honestly, I am extremely excited about it. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions on the Like a Mini Lux or what you'd like to see in the channel moving forward. Uh, Nathan and I have been kicking around some different ideas to change things up and I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, his help and just input has been just completely invaluable. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Again, let me know if you guys have any questions or uh, suggestions in the comments down below. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.